What is going on, guys? It's Cyberporn92 here, and I'm here with who? Uh, Calvin Chow. Alright, and what did you do this recent re uh, regional at San Jose? I got 7th place after 9 rounds of so many right. people. Alright, and what deck were you playing? Playing Prank Kids. Alright, for sure. Before we get into the video, do you want to give any shoutouts before we get into the deck? Oh, yeah. Um, so, to my team, Team Jobber, Andy Hernandez, Bruce Zhang, and the Onslaught Discord, and pretty much I see the game. <laughs> Alright, for sure. Uh, let's start with the main deck. Alright, sounds good. So I pretty much played 40 card prank kit and like the standard lineup of like the 40 cards, which is just the two of us. Uh, the braid, standard. The sneak packages. Do one of these at least a couple times. And chaps, three. Three Ogre, three Bell. Um, I didn't want to play Nib because Despias don't really get Nib. And I, but I kind of did wish I side it for the matchups that special a lot. And overperformed, I mean, it has to be Ash. I mean, you just Ash branded Fusion. And I, yeah, I, like, the reason why I played like 40 card was I just wanted to see my hand traps. But also, Bell wasn't as great as I thought it would be because I played against a lot of Sword Soul. And against Despias, like, if they set up and I can't even break their head up in the first place, Bell does nothing. So there's that. I still really liked it because this was like a budget Ash, like, I <laughs> Bell the Enchantress. <laughs> true, true, true. Would you consider playing um, Impermanent or um, DD Crow? DD Crow, probably. I actually did want some kind of, or imperm because I trapped them. They try to like, and they can't really, so they just want something like anaconda to make like DP. That was the only time I really wanted it. It was pretty good. Mm -hmm. And for the spell, uh, these are the prank kids spell. Only two of the field spell. Uh, these you don't really want to cause your main combo is into these two cards anyway. Three spells. Three and these. I think this card should get hit, honestly. Every time I ogred <laughs> this, it was pretty insane. Because I didn't have to deal with this. Like, Griffin. True, true, true. Pretty much the extra brave card. Two fusion destinies. Uh, and here's, like... So I played terraforming. And so my idea behind this was... Like, against Despias, if they're not playing the brave version, if you down, you pretty much deck them out. Because... Like, uh, what's it called? Power prank gets placed, you pretty much shuffle three and you draw one or deck out because of this. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter how many cards you deck. And I actually did do that against someone. Oh my gosh, how many times have you <laughs> decked somebody out? A lot of No way. You're crazy. <laughs> Every time I place this, if the, I knew they weren't playing a brave engine, mm -hmm. I would just deck them out. <laughs> wow, that's smart. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I wouldn't even risk it. I literally just. True, true, true. true. And it, it, Terraforming was also nice. Either use this as a consistency card, or I can use this as like a defense defensive card. I can literally just place this down, summon DP, the board, and then get rid of the field spell. And like as long as it keeps setting monsters, I mean setting like uh, every single time, and just until I have game on the board. Mm -hmm. And this is two super polys. Personally, I was playing three and one mystic. Decided to play two mystic because it was, it was overall like better in every any combo board. Anything really. That's true, that's true. The big to like fusions. That's true. If you that's had, my reasoning. If you had a third, would you play a third super poly or two was perfectly for you? Uh, for the main deck, I'd probably just keep it at two mm -hmm. specifically because uh, it doesn't hit every matchup where Mystic Mine is like, oh, everyone summons a monster. <laughs> that's true, that's true. <laughs> uh, let's go to the extra deck. Uh, this is only played. I originally was playing Rocket Ride. I wanted to super poly into it. And then my summon me, like my combo, I would have two Prankies in Grave and I could really go for game. Mm -hmm. But I was actually contesting this came up more because I would feel like boost and Bow Wow boost this. And so it'd be like beat up. And they can't respond to it when it attacks. So it was good when I played against like Sky Strikers and like any place DP really. Uh, the one DP. And this was my only 
real like super poly target and I use this a lot. Um, even when I, I I would use my own monsters too, just after game. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, Butler. I lied. This wasn't the only fusion. I forgot Butler. <laughs> uh, it's obvious. Meow. Uh, I always shuffle this, this pranks. I never really used because I mean, once was enough. I'd rather have current play every turn. So this, so I always shuffle ones. Two Link Spiders, because sometimes if they nib you, you can use a Link Spider, and then if you have Prank in hand, which is the first card I search with Doodle, uh, I can discard a Prank card and then make another card right there. And then this one is always a, like, you can always make the Link too dark. Every time you have the Fancies, or even Prank is Pranks, and then, yeah, dark. This, use this all the time. Summon this, like, uh, Anaconda, and then, uh, this is what I use to Link Climb with Dark Mode, and two. Wow, never needed three, so no, oh, on X code. All right, the staple, you already know. All right, uh, on to the side deck. This is where my third super poly is. <laughs> uh, I actually never sided the third one in. I didn't know how people were comboing with Despia, but mm-hmm. a lot of the times when I played against Despia, this would really be live on the first turn against. And that's what mattered the most. Oh, yeah. Two Dita Crow. Uh, those are kind of mid, but I wish... Th- these were originally D barriers, and I wish they were D barriers. I want more uh, twins. Three twins for the back row deck. Three solemn judgments. Uh, these were always going in, like, when I whenever I'm going first. The only downside, really, is if they're playing the Brave Engine and the Activate Right, you're kind of forced to solemn it because you you only have really realistically only have like two back row because mm-hmm. if you have the Prank is Butler combo mm-hmm. and because they're gonna Draco back and bounce like a, a back row most likely or like a monster mm-hmm. and like Judgment all right and they might have another one the downside <laughs> like you're literally forced to use. The Brave Engine, this is literally game. You have your Butler combo and you have this. Literally, three token collect, overperform, play to get so much tangy source. <laughs> I'm so glad I. Uh, yeah, the last two cards, three droplets. I didn't want to main deck these because I was kind of scared of like decks that, that play. Even though there's not like a lot of decks that play Arc Light right now, mm-hmm. but these would always go in uh, uh, if Super Poly wasn't like a good card. Mm-hmm. Or Mystic Mine wasn't like a good card against them. I would keep in these like sight decks. Yeah, that's true. And plus there's like so many like outlets been running around recently as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's true. And Mystic Mine's not exactly good against Outlitch. That's true, that's true. But it covered most of the matchup though. <clears throat> Alright, congrats on your topic, Calvin Chow. Um hopefully we'll see you more and thanks for the deck profile. Your boys are born. Now you too is sign out. Peace. Yep.